Hello my dear friends, welcome back to Infigyan. In this video, we are having one very very interesting quintic equation. So let's get started by writing our equation x power 5 plus. Let's expand this part. I will write 1 minus 100 1 x plus x minus 101 x square will be equal to 101 or I can write x power 5 minus 101 plus 1 so I can write minus 100 x then minus 101 x square and if I will take 1 to the RHS I will write here 100 only now I can take these two terms to the RHS so we will get x power 5 equal to 101 x square plus 100 x plus 100. Now I will add x plus 1 both sides. So I will write here x plus 1 and this side also I will write x plus 1. You can see RHS will become 101 x square plus 101 x plus 101 and LHS will be x power 5 plus x plus 1. Now we can take 101 common from RHS will be getting x power 5 plus x plus 1 equal to 101 times x square plus x plus 1. Now I will consider LHS. Here I will add and subtract x square. So I will write minus x square first. Then I will write plus x square. Then we have two terms x then we have plus 1. Right hand side will be as it is. So let us simplify LHS first. From these two terms, I can take x square common out. So in the bracket, we will get x cube minus 1. And then we have x square plus x plus 1. Now I can use a cube minus b cube formula here which will be equal to x minus 1 times x square plus x plus 1. Then we have the same bracket term x square plus x plus 1. Now I can take x square plus x plus 1 common out. So I will write here x square plus x plus 1. In other bracket, I can write x square times x minus 1 plus 1, which will give us x square plus x plus 1 times x square times x, x cube, x square times negative 1 minus x square plus 1. This is our LHS. Let me write here x square plus x plus 1 times x cube minus x square plus 1 equal to 101 times x square plus x plus 1. Now I will take all the terms to LHS. I can write x square plus x plus 1 times x cube minus x square plus 1 minus 101 times x square plus x plus 1 equal to 0. Now we can take x square plus x plus 1 
4 all common. So I will write x square plus x plus 1 common out in other bracket. We will get x cube minus x square plus 1 minus 101 equal to 0. Or I can write x square plus x plus 1 times x cube minus x square minus 100 equal to 0. Now from product 0 rule, we can generate or write two equations. I can write x square plus x plus 1 equal to 0 or cubic equation x cube minus x square minus 100 equal to 0. So we will solve both the equations one by one. Let me write here x square plus x plus 1 equal to 0 first. Equation is quadratic. I can use quadratic formula. So let me write here formula first. Minus b plus minus the square root of b square minus 4 times ac over 2 times a. As per our quadratic equation, a will be coefficient of x square 1. B will be coefficient of x1, C will be constant 1. Let's plug in all the values. X will be minus 1 plus minus square root of 1 square is 1 minus 4 times 1 times 1, 4 over 2 times 1, so 2. This will be equal to minus 1 plus minus the square root of negative 3 over 2. Using radicals property, I can write minus 1 plus minus the square root of negative 1 times the square root of 3 over 2. Now we know that the square root of negative 1. This is complex number i. So I will write here x will be equal to minus 1 plus minus i times a square root 3 over 2. So we are getting two complex solutions. Now we will consider our second equation. x cube minus x square minus 100 equal to 0. Now I will split minus 100. x cube minus x square. Let me write minus 125 plus 25 which will give us minus 100. Now minus 125 we can write x cube as it is. Minus 125 will be minus 5 cube. Then we can write here minus x square and then 25. 25 we can also write 5 square. Now here I will apply a cube minus b cube formula. Let me write here x minus 5 in other bracket x square plus 5x plus 25. Now here I will take minus common first. In the bracket we will be getting x square minus 5 square which is 25 equal to 0. Now I can write x minus 5 times x square plus 5x plus 25 minus difference of two squares formula will apply we will get x plus 5 times x minus 5 equal to 0. Now x minus 5, x minus 5. Let's take common. So in other bracket, I will get x square plus 5x plus 25 
माइनस ऑफ एक्स प्लस फाइव विच विल बी माइनस एक्स माइनस फाइव इक्वल टू जीरो और आई कैन राइट एक्स माइनस फाइव टाइम्स एक्स स्क्वायर प्लस फोर एक्स फाइव एक्स माइनस एक्स इज फोर एक्स ट्वेंटी फाइव माइनस फाइव इज ट्वेंटी इक्वल टू जीरो सो फ्रॉम प्रोडक्ट जीरो रूल I will write two equations. Either x minus five will be zero. So from here we'll be getting x equal to five. Our first real solution. Or this quadratic expression would be zero. X square plus four x plus twenty equal to zero. X square plus four x plus twenty. Equal to zero, which will be written as x square plus four x. And let's write twenty in RHS as minus twenty. Now we can add both sides four. So I will write here plus four, plus four. So LHS will give us one perfect square of x plus two. RHS will be minus twenty plus sixteen minus sixteen. Now we know that i square is negative one, so I can write this will be equal to sixteen i square, or I can write four i whole square also. Now LHS is x plus two whole square. RHS is four i whole square. Let us consider square root both sides. We will get x plus two equal to plus minus four i. Now I will subtract two from both the sides. We'll get the last two complex solutions. I will write here minus two plus minus four i. So overall, one real and four complex solutions. i hope friends you will write this video thank you so very much for watching do not forget to like share and subscribe bye bye till next video good luck